Well hey guys, this quick video is about spool guns and making them quick change. This can be applied to the titanium and many other spool guns. So basically for about $20 you can make this thing so you can plug it in, unplug it off your machine and never remove the MIG lead or coil off the MIG wire. If it's going to be easier to use, you're going to use it more often. You're going to weld more aluminum and finish more projects. So stick around, check out the video guys. This applies to the titanium 200, 170 and I believe the 140. So I got two spool guns here. This one over here is my own. It's a clutch spool gun. And this is the Harbor Freight. And actually the Harbor Freight sells for less and actually feels like maybe a little bit better build quality. But the clutch has a cool feature. It actually has the same contacts and everything gas line hookups, but it has a lug lead right here. You can hook on and inside the lug on the MIG with the little wing nut and you never have to remove your MIG lead or your wire. That's a pretty cool feature. The reason why I bought the clutch originally was Harbor Freight took over a year after releasing this welder to actually uh, supply a spool gun for it. And I needed to do some welding, so I ended up buying the clutch. The titanium, like I said, has a little bit better build quality, sells for less, but it has this lug lead here and you actually have to coil back the wire and remove the MIG lead to plug this in to get power to the spool gun. I don't like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to modify it. There's going to be links below for these parts. It roughly costs about 20 bucks. We're going to modify this so we can just plug it right in the front, leave our MIG lead on. All right, let's go check out those parts. All right, so here's some of the parts I ordered on Amazon. It's basically a one foot four gauge little ground wire that we're going to run from this machine to the front of this for a connection. And a two pack of DINs 25, we'll only need one connector, but it came in a two pack. So like I said, all these parts here are going to set you back a little under 20 bucks. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to drill and tap the front of this thing and actually run the lead on here and hook the DINs up and I'll show you guys how to hook it up on the main welder. Another option is if you have a lathe or want to fiddle around with the file, I just took a pipe little pipe fitting here for the shop one at work and modified it on the lathe, drilled and tapped it. So it's actually a little lug you can hook on here, tighten down, hook this lug to it and you can run the dens off the front of it. Basically the same thing. So you can modify something like this if you want to file it out or turn it on a lathe or you can just drill and tap the front of this. I'm not concerned about drilling and tapping. So I'll bring you guys back when that's tapped and we'll hook it up to the machine. I'll show you how it works. All right, you guys, spool gun's all ready to go. So basically, I hooked a little bit of rubber tubing around this I had in my shop, just mainly to cover this positive terminal in case you're welding and this separator was bare and it touched your workpiece, it could spark. So just shield it with some rubber tubing. All right, now that we got this uh, DENS 25 wired on the end of the spool gun, I'll show you guys how to hook it up. Basically, like I said before, you do not have to ravel up your MIG wire or your take off your MIG lead. All you have to do is take off this uh, DINS 25 from this main positive block. That runs the power inside to your MIG clamp, originally where this one would have hooked up. All you do is hook up your DINS 25 that we just wired up. And then, of course, it's just hooking up like straightforward like the spool gun would be normally. You disconnect this trigger switch for your MIG, hook up the spool gun, run your gas tube inside the hole here, hook it inside the little quick disconnect, flip it over to spool gun. And of course you run 100% argon gas for welding aluminum. I'll put some settings on the side here for running 8th inch 6061, some good settings for running this thing. And to switch it back over, you just reverse the process, disconnect the hoses, hook up the other gas, undo this DINS 25, hook up original DINS 25, run power back at the MIG block, and uh, you're good to go. Pretty simple. Saves you a lot of time. You're going to probably do more welding of aluminum projects with this. 
Now some people might say that's great and all if you have a solid block like this that doesn't run gas to the center. But my spool gun runs gas to the center. I'll show you a quick little terminal I built to actually hook an Omni Pro up to a Miller spool gun. I'll show you guys that next. Alright, so when I first bought my Omni Pro, I bought it within the first month of them coming out. And again, Harbor Freight, I think, didn't release the spool gun for like another four months afterwards. So my friend Dave loaned me a spool gun from a Millermatic. This little interesting contraption is what I actually made to run a Miller spool gun on my Omni Pro. This is a DENS plug. I'm getting, I was just working with what I had at the time. DENS 50 plugs in the front of the Vulcan stuff, all runs DENS 50. Vulcan stuff had a gas line for your spool gun, just hook on the front of the machine power for it and this little contraption I turned down a chunk of aluminum on my lathe and basically it runs the gas in you plug the Miller spool gun in and ran gas in between two o-rings and ran out to the gun so basically gas comes in here this was a tight fit fit the o-rings really well so it was sealed in here and this has a little o-ring on it so once you got in there you tighten this down and lock that lug inside very simple if you have a little lathe and you can be a little bit creative you can adapt other things and another thing is the actual miller plug-in on the side that would plug into the welder for the trigger to turn the trigger on off and run power to the spool gun turned out to be it was the same voltage but the polarity was different so i just had to take apart the spool gun rewire it because when you hooked it up it's actually the same plug-in but when you hook it up and pull on the trigger the wire would go in on the gun not come out so i basically just flip flop the polarity of the wiring to the electric motor got me working really well i used that thing for about six months and then uh reversed the polarity again and gave it back to my friend okay guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you did please hit thumbs up leave a comment down below and consider subscribing i got a lot of different videos on welder reviews and welding and uh, a lot of different cool build series so uh Check out some other videos on my channel. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye.